My first name is Steven, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. My last name is Golan, G-O-L-L-A-N, and I'm a battalion chief of the city of Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue. Uh, this afternoon, uh, just before 2 p.m., uh, we received numerous 911 calls for a boat that had exploded on the New River uh, just to uh, the north side of the Lauderdale Marine Center. Uh, we got initial reports of multiple individuals in the water uh, with civilian boats in the area rescuing uh, people that were burned and bringing them to the seawall uh, for care. Uh, the scene was challenging it very uh, at the start due to the boat being on the north side of the river and all the patients being on the south side of the river. So our crews immediately divided uh, with a fire attack on the north side of the river, uh, stopping the boat from floating down the river any further. Uh, while our rescue crews were on the south side of the river at the Lauderdale Marine uh, Center treating patients. Uh, the boat had what we're being told 21 individuals on board the boat at the time of the incident and the boat was a 41 foot well craft. Uh, at this time it's unsure what was going on with the boat, uh, if it was a pleasure boat or if it was a charter boat and uh, that's currently under investigation. Uh, of those 21 people that were on the boat at the time of the incident, there were 13 individuals that were injured uh, all of those are with burns. Uh, the burns were all in various states, uh, everything from first, second, and third degree. Two of those uh, individuals were critical. Uh, one was stable. Uh, they were both transported to Broward Health. Uh, one at this time is in serious condition and will be transferred to another medical facility in the near future. Uh, there were also five other individuals uh, that were transported to Broward Health. Uh, with minor injuries, so a total of seven patients uh, were transported to Broward Health. The remaining patients uh, were, trans were treated on scene by our emergency responders and uh, all signed refusals. Uh, at this time, uh, the, still working on extinguishing the boat fire. After that, we'll be uh, working on an investigation to see what caused the fire. And um, Broward Health will be giving an update on the condition of the patients at 4 p.m. in front of their emergency room. Any idea what may have caused this? What you can say what might have triggered this? What you heard? What you know at this point, uh, Stephen? Uh, now, at this point, all we know is that there was a series of explosions. Uh, shortly after the first explosion, individuals started going in the water uh, with reports of a secondary explosion soon after. This, this is uh, this could have uh, been much more serious based yeah. on everything we saw, Stephen. Now, anytime you have an incident on the waterways, uh, they're, they're very uh, serious. You know, first of all, it's an isolated incident that's out in the water, and uh, the boats are, are fuel tanks. Uh, so there's a lot of concern with the amount of fuel that's on a boat, uh, the direction of travel. Uh, the boats aren't tethered to the shoreline, so you now have basically what's a, a floating fireball going down the New River uh, with boats lining both sides of the river. So our immediate concern is, is, to can, is life safety and then uh, getting everyone out of the water and getting them to safety and treating them. And then our secondary concern is, is to protect the other boats and other people that are in the area to contain the fire uh, to where it's at. How many responded to this firefighter total do you think? Uh, this was a second alarm. Uh, I don't have the total number responded, but I can tell you that it was well over uh, 50 individual uh, fires. Uh, we also had help uh, from the United States Coast Guard, uh, the Florida Marine uh, patrol, uh, Fort Lauderdale Police Department, and uh, Broward Sheriff's Office Fire Rescue all responded. Who will be investigating this fire? Uh, that's still being determined uh, between Fort Lauderdale Police, uh, FWC, and the United States Coast Guard. Can you talk about the size of the boat, the kind of the boat? There were 21 people. Is that an appropriate craft for that many people? Can you talk about? So all we know is, uh, based upon uh, the numbers on the boat, is that it was a 41-foot well craft, pleasure boat. Uh, it was outbound on the New River. Uh, so it was heading out towards uh, the intercoastal at the time of the incident. And would a boat of that size typically have been able to carry 21 people safely, or is that? I, I don't know that. What were they doing? Uh, with that many people on it, I, I, I don't know. I would imagine they were out for some sort of cruise, but that's that's undetermined. I don't, uh, but the FL numbers are on the side of the boat, and you're welcome to look them up. We talked to Brett King. Uh, if everybody's coming to talking to you right yep. now, Brett King, you want to step up? Y'all good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Um, can you give us your name again, Brett, B R E T King? Brett King, B R E T K I N G. Tell us what you were doing out there. You had a boat and you helped out. Tell us what you did, uh, Brett. Three of us were on a work boat working, and um, we saw four people on the, on the bow of the boat and uh, noticed smoke coming out of the cockpit. Took us a couple minutes to get there. We were pretty far downriver. And uh, we took four people off the bow of the boat, 
took them to shore and then pushed the boat into the bank over here. Can you describe what you saw at the time? A lot of smoke coming out of the cockpit when we took three, uh, four people off the bow, and uh, by the time we got them to the bank, the boat was fully engulfed in flames. Why did you do what you had to do? You felt compelled to help out? Got to help people. That was just in your basic instinct, help them. That's what we do. We help people. Absolutely. Saw some people that needed help. Pretty obvious that they needed help. Have you ever seen anything like that happen over here with the bar? Not here, but I have in other places, yes, unfortunately. What were the reactions of the people that you helped? What did they say to you? I didn't have time to talk to them. We, we, we jumped them off as quick as we could and got back to push the boat into the bank to keep it away from this vessel right here. You said there were four that you rescued. Were any of them injured? I don't believe so. I think they were on the they were on the bow of the boat. There was no flames on the bow of the boat at the time. Where was the boat originally when you first? When I saw it, it was right at the turn in the river here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So it was pushed over this way. Yeah. Could you, could you hear the explosions when they happened? I, I never heard any explosion at all. But I was pretty far down river when when we saw smoke coming out of it. So I never noticed that at all. So. All right. Anyone else? Okay.